Hello, welcome back to my channel and uh, trying to power through this terrible cough I have. I have another show to talk about with you that I saw recently. It is The Great Gatsby. Now, just to be clear, this is the one that was at Peter Mill Playhouse in the fall of 2023, transferred to Broadway here in 2024. So just so you know which Gatsby review you're watching. Okay, so did I like The Great Gatsby, the musical? Yes, I mean, it's good, but it's weird how I came out of the show feeling a little bit hollow and I'm trying to reconcile my feelings as to why. So, but I wanna start with what's good because I think there's more that's good than not good. Okay, now, if you're a person when you buy a Broadway ticket and you wanna see your money on stage, cause I, I've heard this complaint from some people, Gatsby's got you. It is all about the scenery and the costumes and the choreography. And it's just big, 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 you know, a feast for the eyes. That's important to some people. There are people who don't like bare bones because they're like, well, if I'm gonna drop over a hundred dollars per person on a ticket and they don't even have tables and chairs, it's just people, <laughs> I want my money back. I've heard that. I'm not in that camp. Are you in that camp? Do you, do you need the spectacle? Do you wanna see why you're you're paying the amount that you're paying. That could be important to some people. I would say that this is a crowd pleaser for sure, for absolute certainty. And I, I'm a technician, so I love all the tech. The scenery is amazing. The costumes are amazing. The costumes did win the Tony. It was only nominated for best costume design and it won that and it's totally deserved. There's, there's a lot of costumes. And I don't think they're being big for big sake. This is a story about opulence. This is about showing off your wealth, right? It would be weird to have a story that's all about the haves and the have nots and there's nothing going on visually on stage. It's just bodies moving around. So the tech is good. And it's not like they're just doing big tech just for big tech's sake. It's polished. It's super well done. The other big standout to me in this production is the choreography. Very big very fresh, I think is the right word. Um, there are people who have complained that this show is not jazzy enough because it's supposed to represent the jazz era. Now I'm not a jazz expert, but I think that tracks. I don't think what I was looking at was super jazz infused dancing, but I don't know. But it was, I mean, it was solid, solid dancing, good on you. The other thing that's really good about this production is all the performances. Uh, we do have some stars in this show. Uh, Jeremy Jordan plays Gatsby and Eva Novozella plays Daisy. They were both there the day that I was there, got to see them both. Um, and along with the rest of the cast, the only cover that I had, well, I had two covers. Myrtle was played by Dariana Mullen and there's a smaller character. Her name is Glenda Gray. Uh, she was played by Samantha Palmino their names here like always um but the rest of the opening cast for this production was present solid not not a bad performer from where i sat so that's all good and so i'm all like okay why are my feelings so like oh it's kind of mid I'm trying to reconcile my feelings because the big, big, big complaint I've heard with this show from people who don't like this show is they love the book so much. And they're like, well, if you love the book, you're gonna hate this show. Very broad statement. I don't agree with that. Um, how married are you to the book? I have read this book, but it's been like 15 years. I don't remember it very well. So I'm not married to the book. The problem with adaptation is books are a totally different medium. Musical theater is a visual medium. Now, what, what I do remember and what people have said about The Great Gatsby, the book, is it's all about the subtext. These are characters that have secrets and they're all, they're keeping it all bottled up. They're not expressing themselves very well. They're doing a terrible job of that. So I can see the clash with musical theater because in a musical show, Characters are supposed to be so overwhelmed with their emotions that they can't help but suddenly burst into song because it's the only way to get all that emotion out of their system. Because they want you to feel what they feel. And they're so just tight-lipped in this story. 
I actually think the source material is the problem. Now, what I'm curious about is, would this make a good play? Maybe it's it's that pressure of being musical theater. So you're putting a round peg in a square box, kind of like it almost fits, but not quite. I thought the songs were just okay. I can't recall a single one. The official cast album is out and I have been trying to listen to it, but I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. I think it's just fine, you know? And I hope I'm not being a snob about it. I, I hope it's just, oh, it just doesn't hit me. Because I don't think the music's a problem. It's not like the music's bad and you don't care. But obviously in a musical, you need the music to be one of the strongest elements because that's what makes it a good musical. I don't know. I would watch this again. I would not discourage you from seeing this unless you are so attached to the book and you need it to be a certain way. Because my hang up, you know, I think the, the music was just meh, but more so I think it is the story. I do know The Great Gatsby, the story, and I think it's problematic, but not, not in a new age woke kind of way. I, I'm talking structurally. There are things that happen in this book that I'm like, but, but why? Maybe when you adapt something, especially something that's so well known, maybe the creative team feels pressured to be Sl slavishly faithful to certain things because to me I saw a series of boxes being checked it was all Nick has to open with oh when I was in my younger years my father gave me advice blah 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 that whole quote check the green light has to be on stage for most of the story check we got to see the the custom job big yellow car that gets me up. check we have to see T.J. Eckelberg's famous dilapidated billboard, check. Gatsby has to be thrown his shirts, check. Like it, it just, I could feel the boxes being checked. Like, oh, it's time for this. It didn't feel like we naturally got there. It just, it felt like a series of things. Like, remember this, remember this from the book? So I, I blame the book, not because the book is bad, but maybe it's not adaptable because I don't know if people love any adaptation of this to be honest. I don't know. I don't know where people stand on all the movie versions. And I know there's a competing Gatsby that's currently, play well, I think it's currently playing in Boston, the ART, uh, I believe it's called Gatsby and American Myth, a great American Myth, American Myth, something like that. Rumors are say swirling that it's coming to Broadway. That would be interesting. If you have two Gatsby's on Broadway at the same time and they are stylistically swinging in opposite directions because the paper mill version it's going for opulence it's going for big it's going for spectacle and the ART Gatsby is trying to be edgy and artistic and it's I don't know in a way they're both style over substance but in opposite directions so I marketing teams for both these shows please help differentiate which version you are for the normies out there who are like Oh, I like Gatsby. Okay, well, which Gatsby do you want? We got some flavors here for you. We'll see. We'll see how I would, if it comes closer, Boston's a bit far. If it does go to New York or if it tours or something, I, I would see it just to, not to compare them in the whole, hmm, which one is better? It's more, what is your take? What are you bringing to the table? Can you fix the adaptation disease that plagues so many things that get adapted? I don't think this is a bad production. I think the truth from, from, my, from where I sit, it's because I struggle with the story proper. Um, now to get into some more specifics, I do have to spoil this. Well-known story, old story, but hey, you might be watching this going, I don't know what Gatsby is. So if you don't wanna know anything about Gatsby, the story, turn away now. Okay. The pivotal scene where Gatsby and Daisy are at the lunch and they're gonna do this big reveal to Tom and they go into town to the plaza. So they, they switch cars and then when they come back, they switch back. From a plot perspective, I understand why that happens. We need Myrtle to see Tom in the big yellow custom, very distinct car so that when she sees it later, she thinks it's Tom and she runs out and then, uh -huh. but, from a story perspective, why would Gatsby be like, sure, guy whose wife I'm sleeping with, you can drive my car. Why would he say yes to this? I've never liked that part in the story. 
it baffles me. That definitely ha- screams the whole, we need this to happen because the plot needs it. But we can't find an organic way to, to get there. Not a fan. My, my one ping against this exact production is the pool. And I, I was afraid of this. You can't go watch an adaptation of Gatsby and not in the back of your mind at least be going, okay, but how are they going to do the pool? I don't like what they do. This is the one thing I would be like, is there any way? Is there any way we can change this? Now, it, it just could be a taste thing. Not a fan. To describe what I'm talking about, I have to actually spoil this moment. And I'm going to spoil the musical version of Jekyll and Hyde that came out in the mid 90s. So if you don't want to be spoiled for that show either, again, turn away. It's not playing anywhere. Nah. But also it's 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 indicative of Jekyll and Hyde's story. It's not unique to the musical, except for a choice that's made. So we're we're at Gatsby's and he's undressing because he's gonna go into the pool. And he's singing like this ballad. He's all like, Daisy. Daisy. And then Wilson just shows up behind him and he just blows him away. Now, maybe they were going for shock. Maybe they were going for, well, let's show how abrupt it is. Because to Gatsby, it would be abrupt because he's not, he doesn't know Wilson's there. He doesn't know this is about to happen to him. So maybe he wants to shock you. But in this production, the edge of the stage has uh, the railings that you see in pools to help you climb out if it's too deep to just pull yourself out. And the front of the orchestra pit is lined with blue tile so you know you're that's the pool so he's singing he gets shot and he falls into the orchestra pit at my show people laughed now they might have laughed because they were uncomfortable because people do that but I think the real reason is it just looks so goofy it I don't think that moment works now it's a little moment but it's like the moment of the show uh I wish they went the Jekyll and Hyde musical route which I now I'm going to spoil in Jekyll and Hyde in the scene where um, Dr. Jekyll takes a potion and he becomes Mr. Hyde so it's a it's all about duality and your good side and your evil side and that well both Jekyll and Hyde each have a, a lady friend Jekyll's engaged to a woman and Hyde not kidnaps but he domestically violence violates this poor you know common woman who doesn't have you know protection and luxury and blah blah and um Jekyll is aware of this other woman so he sends her money and he encourages her to flee town which is intuitive because Hyde intends to kill her so Jekyll's trying to save her So we're in her crummy little apartment and she has this envelope full of money and she has this big, beautiful song about how she's going to change her life because she has this money to do it. It's a beautiful song, but she gets to finish it, have her little crescendo, hold, audience applause, and then she goes to bed. And then we have like, it's just a, a few moments, but it's like later that night, Hyde sneaks in and he kills her. See, that to me has more impact because she wasn't in the middle of a song. Yes, it would have been shocking. It certainly would have brought the whole, oh, I was just going along by my own business and bam, I, I died. I don't know. I just hated that in this show. It looks so goofy. So that's my real, like, if you wanted me to point out what do I specifically hate in this show, that's one. It sounds like I'm splitting hairs, but it's an important moment. I think just don't have him singing. <laughs> Maybe they have tried it. Maybe that looked worse. I don't know. I didn't like it. Um, But it's not like it didn't have anything good. Uh, One of my favorite moments, and this is in all adaptations that I know about, when Nick invites Daisy over for tea at his little cottage and Gatsby comes early and he's like freaking out and trying to get everything perfect because he wants it a certain way because it's the first time he's seen her. That whole scene is so charming and so cute. I love it so endearing um myrtle has a song which is so nice because she's so important to the story but in movie adaptations she's such an afterthought she's barely a blip so it's not that you're not sad that someone innocent innocent dies but you don't feel as much because we don't really get to know her here's a chance 
for us to get to know her. Now she does at the end of her song, but I'm pretty sure she finishes it and then she turns and then they they simulate her death. Like her death is done better, in my opinion. Oh, I'm a liar. There's one other, I don't hate this. I just dislike it. It's It's not as deep. Jeremy Jordan is doing this weird affect thing with his voice where he's all like ah oh, well, hello old sport oh, i am gatsby like when he first started talking i was like what are you doing like i don't know it sounds so weird it sounds like he's doing a fake voice but if that's what he's supposed to do or if that's what the director wanted <laughs> i didn't care for that either but but everything else is really really good i I thought all the performers did good. I'm so glad that Jordan is a more prominent character because that's the thing. Jordan is the character I remember the least from the book. I don't remember if in the book she and Nick have any sort of fling type thing. They certainly beef it up in this adaptation where they they go so far as to even flirt with getting engaged. I'm just glad that that character had more to do than what I remember her doing previously. Um, but yeah, these are all very unlikable people. So I don't know if that's why my heart can't open to the story because I'm like, well, you all suck. So I'm I'm not sad that these bad things are happening to you. I don't know. I feel like I'm tearing this show down. I don't mean to do that. It's so well produced. It's so well executed. I, and I, I've heard a lot of people when I'm just walking in New York going to other shows, people are like, oh my God, have you seen Gatsby? Oh, we love it. People love it. I had fun. I just didn't love it. You know, I don't know if the pool was enough to make me go, oh, but those are my thoughts on Gatsby. Not sorry I saw it. It's low risk. I, I think you'll get something enjoyable out of it. You would have to like, just hate this story. Yeah. If you don't like Gatsby at all, then why would you go see this? Those are the only people I can think of are like, don't go see this. Don't, don't go see this. That's it for today. I'll be back later. Bye.